Hey everybody, welcome back to Common Sense, EU4 multiplayer featuring myself, uh, Northern Line, as well as Quill, Mathis, and Roomba. Say hello. Hello. Just me. Uh, I'm <laughs> the only one here. Right? Uh, I got a pop-up I was reading. Hey, how's it going? I was waiting uh, on I Quill. I have a funny title. I'm Queen Elector. Very That's nice. pretty good. Mm -hmm. Nice. We're like Our Queen <laughs> Erector. <laughs> kind of reminds me of this weird story that I heard. I don't know if it's true. It's about like unions or something. Like... How sometimes they don't work out so well, or something. There's like this story like, like about a personal unions or work unions. Like unions, work unions. Like okay, right. Like so, some guy. Like there's three guys, right? And they're going around doing jobs where they like replace the trees in a city or something. So okay. Got, guy number one digs a hole. Guy number two plants a tree. Guy number three uh, fills in the hole. And like the story or the joke or whatever is that the the second guy goes on vacation, and so the first and the third guy just keep going around digging holes and filling, and them. filling them in. And mm -hmm. it's just kind of crazy because they only do their job. But anyway, classic that's... Classic anti-union joke. It's kind of like that because I was sitting here waiting for Quill to say something. And if he doesn't say something, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'll just sit here. Just wait. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you want Sun Gao it's and Gors? That's what you want? Going on. No, just Sun Gao. Just Sun Gao? Yeah. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not greedy. I'm a, I'm a nice guy. When, yeah, uh, when are you going to demonstrate that? Excuse oh! Me? Excuse me? <laughs> Just two episodes ago, I was telling uh, him how much of a nice you, guy you are. You did it backwards. <laughs> huh? You gave me Gores instead of Sun Gao. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so you still have that little pimple in your territory. God damn it, I'm sorry. I messed that up. I did it, I did it backwards. Yes. It's fine. You have 100%. Well, uh, you should end your war. Yeah, I am right now. Um. So, when you look at a province in... The religion tab, and it says in terms of its modifiers, development minus 2.1 percent. What does this mean? Does it mean if you add more development, the penalty will get smaller, or if you add more development, the penalty will get larger? The penalty always goes up depending on how much development you have. There's like ideas and and policies and stuff you can take that reduce development cost, or you can build a university building. Uh oh, personal union on monarch death. Yeah, as soon as you get an air, it'll be fine. Hurry up and fuck. Have a baby. Call the arms, your faithful ally. Friesland. Oh, no. Was Folian conquest of Friesland? No. Sorry, buddy. This will be happen. a short, relatively bloodless war because <laughs> some people are black flagging back to their base. They should just stay out of it. Sorry. Sorry, Friesland. Good luck, friend. Actually, shouldn't have called in... Written that was dumb. It was a reflex thing. <coughs> hey. Okay. You know, it'd be nice as if I could do royal marriages. I know, it's so. It sucks to miss out on it. I mean, there's a button I can press right now to embrace. I can do secularization. I could become an mm -hmm. administrative yep. monarchy, but then I lose the fun theology government type thing with all the bonus income. Like, I make mm -hmm. so much money from having 100 devotion. I get 25% national tax modifier from that. Wow. That's really good. I mean, like, I'm making double my income from production in taxation. NL, are you still improving relations with me? Yep. Cool. I'm almost at uh, zero, actually. Hmm? Your, your opinion of me is almost at zero. Yeah, it's proving quickly. I got uh, powerful diplomats. Oh, apparently I can send it now. My character's 40. You better have a baby. I thought you couldn't send it if one of the two sides is negative. Maybe it wasn't negative enough. I mean, I know that, like, humans can, like, bypass a lot of things, but I thought that was a hard and set rule. That was very fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, considering we're at, like, minus 200 million everything. <laughs> I think one of the modifiers expired, like the 111 uh, from yeah. Unlawful Territory. I think it just expired. You may be correct. All right. Had a baby. Yay. Bum, 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 bum. Apparently, my baby's 41 years old. Bum, 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 bum. Was... <laughs> I just want all of my aspects of faith. To be missionary strength plus one. 
Yeah. Uh, you have a drinking problem? Yeah. <laughs> so excited I'm getting sushi tonight. Oh! Nice. I do not give a shit about what the Teutonic's Order opinion of me is. They will be part of Doubtful. my country soon. Doubtful. And they're now part of my country. All right. Cool. Told you. <laughs> mm hmm. Hmm. All right, who is going to be mad at me in two years? Poland is going to be mad at me in two years. So I will improve relations with them so they won't be so mad at me. <laughs> oh, I can't believe religious unity. <laughs> it feels so good. I need two more provinces. It's going to take me till 1588, though, to, to have the zeal wear off of the one. And then I can get it. It's actually, like, it gives you a surprising amount of national unrest. The disunity? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess it's, like, 100 minus your uh, unity, and then times, like, 0.3 or something like that. So I have 20% disunity... And it gives plus 0.6 uh, discontent or unrest. Mm. It's pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I got a neat bong from culture conversion. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're from BC. <laughs> yeah, right? The freshman year. AKA last year. Because <laughs> I'm 17. I knew it. The truth comes out. Your humor matches the age. Mm hmm. I was born in 1998. Oh, God. Are those were They're really 17 year olds now, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. God, that makes me feel so old. Yeah, time, time marches on, man. I remember carding people and having to look for like the year 1990 for them to be 21. Wow. I remember back when the Magna Carta was signed. And, uh, <laughs> that was pretty fucked up. Fudged up. Pardon my language. You're too young. <laughs> I don't yeah. like how quiet a Roomba is being. That's usually when he's plotting things. Mm -mm. I'm just looking around. Mm -hmm. Shopping. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to decide. I'm actually going to try out using marches for once. I've never done it before. I've always yeah, thought marches are kind of weak. But this now is with the buttons, you've got a few more options. Oh, do you have extra buttons for marches? Yeah, as opposed to regular vassals, I'm pretty sure. I might Ooh. be wrong. Fortify march. Sure. Builds or upgrades a fort in your march. You pay for the fort. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. But not the maintenance. Enable subsidized armies. Since 10% of your monthly manpower to your march, this will change their opinion of you by plus 50. Huh. Yeah, there's cool stuff. Yeah, it's, it's new. It's different. I like it. We'll try it out. I don't need those stinking allies where I'm going. <laughs> That's what vassals are for. I'm your ally. Oh, right, you, yeah. Become my march. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave me behind. Offer vassalization. <laughs> to offer vassalization. Oh, you have more than 100 developments, so I can't offer it. Damn. Sorry. You must give away all of your territory so that you become the march. <laughs> you know, people were suggesting that like 10 videos ago. Oh, like, sure, when I was like, like falling apart. Yeah, you should just make Mathis your, your march, they said. Probably wouldn't have been a bad idea at the time. Hmm. 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 So you think France has recovered from their, uh, their beating? Take a look. If I bet you they have at least 50k manpower in the bank. They 20, do not. They have way less than that. 25. Really? They have 25. I guess they are yeah. smaller than I expect, but I don't know. Let's see. 46, 36, 41. They have 42,000 men on the field with 25,000 manpower.
We could have had a truce, Ottomans. We could have had a truce. Not a truce, an alliance. It's been a oh. long day. <laughs> They're too busy conquering off to the east. Like, we almost got over our different religion penalty and all that nonsense. Not quite, though. Now it is is never going to come to pass. Hmm. I'm almost thinking that having uh, espionage ideas is like a must-have for EU4 multiplayer now. It's it's really been quite handy. Oh, I see someone else has picked up some espionage ideas. Sorry. <laughs> and El mentioned it a while ago, didn't he? Hmm. I was I probably I was too busy right. sub like doing you know so discontent or something to notice. <clears throat> I didn't get espionage ideas. No, not Northern Line. Mathis? No. Mm -hmm. Quill. I don't have espionage ideas. No, it's me. <laughs> Mathis. I picked it up a long time ago when I was planning on my long term goal. When I picked it up was to fuck with you, Ryan, because you took Berlin. Hilarious. But I got Berlin back. Oh, when did you get that back? Oh, right. I remember. <laughs> That's right. I thought it went the other way for some reason. It was like, I forgot. You're all very funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Salt in the wounds? A little bit. Bum, bum. Oh, here we go. Come on. Ugh, I hate 85% the... religious unity. When did Lucky Nations get turned on? I thought we turned this. I thought we started this without Lucky Nations. And yet, France says luck. With Lucky Nations? It's a very basic game component. Well, yeah, but you don't see it, like, you know, <laughs> in the options. So, um, wow. Luck, luck gives ten random, the ten, like, ten historic AIs get this modifier called luck, which gives them lower unrest, it gives them better general roles, it gives them higher manpower recovery. It's supposed to make them harder against human players, essentially. Yeah, it just basically makes Spain, France, Ottomans, uh, England, Russia, all just BS. It's it guarantees that historically powerful nations will be powerful. Gotcha. And it's usually more fun to turn it off because they're strong enough as it is. Mm -hmm. you know, France starts off huge. They don't really need to have minus one unrest and minus plus one to each general type. Like, plus one shock, plus one fire. Hmm. I have translated Bibles, y'all. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Not that it'll... Uh make any difference but I just want you to know I see the discontent <laughs> I pay I pay attention to that uh, to that oh, tab so if only I hadn't like completely bled legitimacy it wouldn't be an issue I had that problem for a long time yeah. The same prestige well, and legitimacy next to each other being at like zero and negatives, you're just like, ugh. Yeah, you lose a lot of legitimacy when your prestige is low. Yeah. And I had to like reset all my royal marriages, so that drops your prestige or your legitimacy at the time. It does grow as a result of it, but until then, oof. Greatest day of my life. An advisor died, and then I got a minus two national unrest advisor. There you go. Why can't I just send like people to destroy the center of Reformation in Danzig? Uh, you can convert it. I mean, it's hard to do it, but well, my conversion is it says it's dash dash zero point zero percent to convert it. Mine's being an opportunist. Oh, we've been discovered. I don't think this ever happened <laughs> wow. before. Uh, maybe once with me, but yeah, not frequently. That guy's My fired. Of discovering is pretty low. <laughs> Execute him. <laughs> this is in CK2. What if it was? What if it was? Too spooky for me. <laughs> I'm surprised no one else has joined me in leaving the Empire. There's a big chunk in it if you go to the interface now. Yeah. It's pretty damn massive. 
Normally I would, but I hate you, so... No, it's gonna be the North German Alliance. Except for Mathis. He, he must die. God damn it. <laughs> Got a lot of troops sitting in Hamburg there. I was waiting for a rebellion to pop. Mm-hmm. Supposedly, oh well, they got five years before they pop, apparently. But I'm ready for them. I need Russia to pay off its loans. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting. That's my Russia. Like 2,000 in debt. Wow. Yeah. They really spent a lot of money working on Poland before. On behalf of the uh, the Protestants, it was very nice of them, really. Oh, I also got translated Bibles. Fuck your mm -hmm. discontent, Arumba. <laughs> your your era is over, man. Your era. superintendents, legitimacy, good advisor, translated <laughs> Bibles. I'm at minus one point one, even with your discontent. That's very impressive. <laughs> That is quite. Hmm. I really am enjoying being a theocracy, but the ability to have royal marriages would be so nice. I know. That's one of the reasons I flipped, even though I was enjoying the theocracy too. I mean, the biggest reason was tag switching, because cool. Yeah. But royal marriages fair. are very useful. Yeah. I mean, they can really make it easier to, to actually get people to join, like, to become your vassal or ally. And mm -hmm. They're really good at... It's a social lubricant, is what it is. <laughs> it's like alcohol. Lube me up. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I just can't wait till you get tired of wasting your discontent on me. Then it goes down to like minus 4.1 national unrest per month. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know what that's going to do, but. All right. Well, I'm the first thing is. away progress. The first thing it's going to do is make it so that this reformed zealot uprising isn't looming on the horizon 138.8 years from now. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, your man. I just imagine like this council of men sitting around with papers all over the table, like in 138.1 years. <laughs> if we do the math correctly, we expect an uprising to happen. Shit'll go down. If we statistically have <laughs> an extra half child per man. <laughs> In 138.8 years, we'll be the majority in this I just country. imagine it's like, or, or it's like a councilman, or it's just like Nostradamus who's sitting there and he's like, I foresee. <laughs> in the year 1600, <laughs> an asteroid will obliterate the Earth. Uh, in the year sure 1604, happened. an asteroid will obliterate the Earth. Again, more and more Michael Caine ish. In the year. <laughs> 1608 <laughs> on an asteroid the size of an enormous tangerine <laughs> will eliminate the earth in day. I'm confused. Is Michael Caine Australian? <laughs> no, that's that's my the other accent I can do, which yeah. is, is more like because it definitely morphed. Michael Caine, <laughs> give me a ginger beer. That's, that's one of it. your two talents. What, yeah, th that's it right there. I just shot my whole lot at once. That and naming uh, capitals of countries. Also true. So, okay, remember a couple, like last week, I was complaining about how foreign, for, foreign support for rebels doesn't actually give you more, like, strength. I don't know if you guys remember this, I complain a lot, but... It's a sliding scale from 2 to 4. Yes. The interface is just wrong. When you, when you go to support someone's rebels, it'll still say 2 to 4, but then when you actually apply it, it does get boosted by 50%. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember what you're talking about now. So the mm -hmm. interface should just be updated to show that it's from 3 to 6 now instead of from 2 to 4. If, mm -hmm. you, have, if you have 50%. Anyway. It's just showing you the base amount. Portugal's going buck wild in the New World, huh? And Great Britain doing some stuff, too. So, uh, just so you know... Mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, Holland is going to elect me to be the next uh, emperor. They have a very positive opinion of me. And uh, Westphalia, you also rank me as the highest when it comes to determining who you'd like the next... Uh... Do you want to be the emperor? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. Done. <laughs> All the uh, four electors. All four. <laughs> All four princes. You know what? I got you. I'm, com <laughs> I'm coming for you, Mathis. Uh, I'll <laughs> I got you. You got my vote. I don't need your vote anymore. Well, you have it. You were the last one to vote for me, and as such, you're my first on the shit list. But Holland isn't voting for you. They they change once a month, man. All right, well, then I'm not the last one to vote for you, am I? Uh, oh, that's a good point. All right, Holland, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, yes, everyone's ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back uh, with another episode tomorrow. If you want to watch these episodes in the future with some form of simultaneity, seeing them all at the same time, go to uh, reddit.com slash r slash roomba07, and you can find the sticky thread right at the top where they yell at Mathis for uploading his videos 12 hours after everybody else. <laughs> and uh, apart from that, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.